Hi YouTube, this is just a quick recording to give you an update on the Yamaha KP65 bass drum pedal, electronic bass drum pedal. On part one of the video, I talked about trying to get the spare parts for this bass drum pedal. You have the, um, the sensor here for the actual drum pad and um, this connects into a circuit board called the B40 circuit board and I wanted to find out whether we can get the pads and the circuit board for parts so I went ahead and I ordered a few bits of um, AliExpress and this is what they sent over so they sent over the, these pads which is the same as what's in there basically so I just kind of wired this up so let's new look to, that's the same size there 35 millimeters I believe so I wired this up and I plugged it in and tried it on the actual bass drum and it didn't work so I have a funny feeling that the circuit board is faulty and I need a new circuit board but the problem is with the circuit board, they, the company in the UK that sell these parts, by the way, is a company called Zontec. That's S-O-N-T-E-C dot UK. And I got a price of £25 sterling. Plus, obviously, there would be custom charges because it would be shipped out to Ireland. And if I... And that's to a UK address, by the way, £25 plus custom charges and plus to be extra charges for delivery if, I, if I'm using the U, my UK shipping address. If I get them to ship it directly to Ireland from Sontec, it would be 43 sterling and obviously there'd be customs charges, 23% custom charges on top of that. So. It just gets ridiculous because when you order a brand new pedal, the complete pedal from Toman, it's 77 euros plus delivery. So it just doesn't make sense. You know, I might as well just go ahead and order a new pedal, and maybe that's the way that's the way they design it. So, but just to show you what I got off AliExpress, I got the these pads, sensor pads and transducers I think they're called and then obviously these that fit in to the circuit board they plug in there in the circuit board and you can get these in AliExpress as well I got I got two sizes I didn't know what size um, two or three sizes I didn't know what size works so I got a few of them always handy to have these extra component parts so I got a few of them and I worked out that it was a small one that was the, the one that fitted so the whole idea of buying the parts and repairing this KP65 just seems pointless because with a few extra quid you can buy a, a brand new pedal and even if I bought the circuit board and put it in there's no guarantee that it's going to work anyway even if I put a new sensor, a new circuit board, there's no guarantee it's going to work. So I just said, well, the best thing to do would be to buy a brand new pedal. And maybe down the road, I'll get a second hand one of these or find one spare going around and um, find a way to test it. Um, so there you go. That's uh, that's the story. I didn't get any further than that. They're handy being able to buy these parts on AliExpress. You know, these are very cheap. Uh, really really cheap I mean on about five euros or something like that some ridiculous price and um, so they're very cheap it was the actual circuit board which is a B40 that uh, cost the money so um, so yeah so that's the saga of the KP65 but I have a new pedal coming in brand new pedal that I'll be putting on the kit and then that will probably do me for another few years hopefully and uh, we'll see what happens so there you have it.